Yeah. Wow, you could have lucky fortune. They spent a lot of money on this curse, too. It was a living learning lesson. Yeah. They were trying to steal some sort of gift or whatever from you. It, 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 they spent, and when I tell you they spent a lot of money, they traveled to like the motherlands or something. They spent a lot of money on this curse and they cursed themselves. <laughs> Dumbasses. While you, my darling, you're getting good luck and fortune. Um, but this was all a live and learn lesson because look, you've been liberated from this. And it's very important to me. I feel like this is why they're trying to get you to do drugs and alcohol, especially if you used to, because that's the way they were, these attacks were sticking to you because of the drugs and alcohol or the drugs or alcohol that's why but it's a living learn lesson now they're scared to death because you persevere through whatever this is and again i am so proud of you guys yeah you persevere through whatever this is they lost that and someone passed away or something they they were they were bribed to do this now you're gonna it's come to their attention you're gonna sue them they're now they have an idea that they're gonna come apologize to you but they're wearing a mask they, you know, they see your common cool collective and having all this inner peace. They, they also want that. So I feel like they're going to try to bless you with something. But you're getting major blessings coming your way while they need fucking aid. They're dumb. Dum, 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 dum. And I strongly feel like they could have been trying to do something to your children if you have, if you have any kids. Um, your kids are protected, okay? Make sure you stay protecting, you know, your, your children, uh, plead the blood of Jesus over your children, your family, your loved ones, you know, whatever, whatever it is, okay? Um, but continue to pray for your children. Your, your children are safe, though, but they are trying to curse you and your children, but they're safe, okay? Now, if they were wishing that upon you and your child, you best believe that if they have children, big mistake. I pray to God. I've been, I I argue to Michael, please bless and protect children everywhere. It's not the child's fault. Um, but somebody opened up a portal they can't close. Somebody's losing their child. Somebody's losing their child or they lost their child. I feel like it might be CPS or something like that. I pray that's all it is and it's not... Um, Is it that woman? Is it that woman? I feel like it's the woman that sacrificed her youngest child. She put her son up for for a sacrifice or attempted to, and she lost her child. Whether it be, I pray to God, it was just CPS, like children and youth, or whatever, or wherever you are in the area, like in, in wherever you live in the world. Um, cause I have people that watch me from the UK, from the Philippines, from all over the world. Okay, so wherever you are, I don't know what it's called in your area. Um. So, but like here in the United States, at least, you know, in Pennsylvania, it's called CPS, uh, Child Protective Services. Um, I'm pray to God that's what it was. And it was the woman who put her child up for um, a sacrifice or attempted to. She did this behind the boyfriend's, um, the, the baby dad isn't even her boyfriend who thinks it's, it's his child. It's not his child. It's actually his friend's child. It's not his child. But she tried to sacrifice, but like, I don't think he knows that yet, or maybe he does, maybe he found out or is about to find out, but it's not even his child. He, and he's the one that's fucked up because he's the one that actually loves that kid. She doesn't, she has, she doesn't care. She put her child up for a sacrifice or attempt to behind his back. And he, I don't know if he knows yet or not, but he's going to find out. And she also put him up. She's trying to get rid of her the boyfriend too. She wants something to do with it with her boyfriend. She hates him. They fight all the time. She was trying to get him locked up. She was going to use him because she's a paid informant or she's a dirty undercover cop or something like that. She's a dirty cop or she's a paid informant. She was planning on either she has a life insurance policy out on him. She's planning on taking getting rid of him, um, and. She was also trying to plan, like, to, to frame him, but she put him up. She's, she either did or she's going to be putting him up for a sacrifice. But I feel like she's going to try to get him locked up first or some shit. I don't fucking know. Because she, she gets paid to lock people up, to frame people. She tried to frame you, but it didn't work. Because you're way too protected. Oh, shit. Okay. Illness, gift, death, oh shit, they're bound to death. 
they're pissed off because they did this death ritual on you they're bound to it okay and they're going to someone's going to prison for a unalivement i'm telling you it's because of that ritual instead that sacrificial ritual they were on camera doing this then we have gift they might try to gift you this gift you something i mean um they're trying to gift you some sort of illness and that's not fucking happening is your dumbass friends frenemies of yours are going to prison for this because they're on camera doing this a sacrificial ritual they actually sacrifice somebody they're going to prison they might even get locked up while they're traveling or some shit they might be getting pulled over or or something like that it was all a fucking trap they're trying to trap you with some sort of death mm. they might even want to go think they were could they go to travel to go somewhere to do this ritual and it was actually a cop it was all a trap. Or the cops seen them were, were in their phone and seen them do this when they were traveling maybe to that to do that death ritual. And they, they're going to lock them the fuck up if they're not already. Someone's going to prison for the rest of their lives. They're, someone's getting death penalty. Someone's definitely getting death penalty. Other people are going to be passing away in prison if they make it there. All right. They might be trying somebody's in jail they're going to be asking you for put money on their books do not do it because this is somebody that's been attacking you all right they're going to ask they're going to hit you up ask you to bail them out or to put money on their books don't do it all right don't do it because this is somebody that's been attacking you they're scared to death of your gifts too they're terrified of your gifts how gifted you truly are how tapped in you truly are my left ear is ringing and they're they're bound to some sort of illness because look they they're, they somebody could have been drinking and driving too and unalive somebody or been like on drugs and unalive somebody as well <laughs> confirmation it could have been a child i hope not And it's because of this backfire from this death ritual they did to you that you've been liberated from. It's all a live and learn lesson, though. No, they're bound to illnesses, death, and um, destruction, and co uh, and confinement. They're scared to death of your fucking gifts, and they sent some sort of attack to you in your dream state to try to. They're just trying to steal your downloads, but they didn't get it they're not getting it because they know you get a lot of fucking you get a lot of downloads they know that you're tapped all the way the fuck in and i feel like in your dream state is where you get a lot of your downloads all right you're extremely gifted you could have even had trouble like remembering your dreams for a little bit and you might be noticing that now you're starting to dream a lot more and it's because of them it was what they were doing it was what they were doing but they they're they're, they're kicked out of your your energy completely they're not to do this you've been liberated from this someone's going to overdose because they're overindulged in drugs and alcohol. Someone's going to... Oh, this reminds me. Okay, this is the reading. This goes in. Somebody passed away from an overdose. They sold... Whoever sold them the drugs, they laced it with... Um, they, they laced it. I feel like it was purposely done to say... It was either Percocets they got that they put... It was, a, um, it was actually fentanyl. Or it was like they went to go get meth or coke. And they put fentanyl in it. And the person overdosed. It was a way for them. It was a sacrifice. It was a way they sacrificed this person. All right, it might have even been a child. Oh, Jesus, Lord. Oh. A child could have got their hands on, um, on, on some drugs, and it was purposely done. It was part of the sacrifice. Um, oh, sick son of a bitch. I pray to God the, the kid got liberated from this, but I feel like the kid might have OD'd and went to the hospital. Um... We did have loneliness isolation, didn't we? Oh, it was in here. They did this for whatever reservations. It was a sacrifice. But there is somebody that passed away. I feel like a child got their hands on some drugs too. It was part of the sacrifice. It was that woman who who put her child up for a sacrifice. And it was supposed to look like an accident. But it wasn't. She intentionally did this or this is what her plan is. And somebody... Now, there's another incident too that somebody overdosed from um it was purposely done it was our sacrifice it's how they sacrificed the person they gave them they bought drugs this is why it's very important guys if you do any drugs please stop like i know it's hard i know it is but this is what these people are doing and this is why they're banking on you to be doing drugs and alcohol because they want to fucking unalive you all right um 
so yeah be very mindful if you do i know it's a hard habit like it's hard to quit but just be very mindful and be very mindful where you get your stuff from i pray that you i pray that you stop you know what i mean that you're strong enough to be able to quit because you know these people this is what they're trying to do they're going to try and if you do drugs they're going to try and put fentanyl in your shit okay or they're going to put cyanide or something in your in your um they're going to put something in your in your drugs to try to get you to overdose okay so please i pray ow don't bid off me for my my Clyde protectors, okay? These are my Clyde protector slipper socks that I have on. <laughs> because Clyde be tacking my feet all the time. <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah, somebody overdosed. It was a sacrificial ritual thing that they did. They put um draw. They put like fentanyl in some. It was either Percocets. They thought they were getting perks, but it was um or like something like that. But they put fentanyl in it. It was a crush pill, or they put um fentanyl in either meth or coke and if the person overdosed they this person did pass away and the 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 cops know about this because one the cop is in their phone already they know about this they know where they got it from that person's going away for either involuntary manslaughter or first degree because i feel like the cops know that um the cops know they did it on purpose they know they did because they're being watched and also they're going away for there's also people that are going away because they're they're being watched in the woods or in a cemetery doing a sacrificial ritual but i'm strongly getting i pray to god this child got out of this this woman's custody before this could happen because that mother who put her child up for um she constantly leaves drugs in front of this child in like in in arm's reach of this this young child who's like in kindergarten or something or preschool he's like young he or she's young and she does this on purpose and like so that like anybody else will think that like oh well you're just like you know a bad mom you know what i mean and you're not like you know what i mean you're you're just not responsible no she's doing this on purpose she wants this child to put this in her mouth in his or her mouth and end up overdosing it's her way of sacrificing this child um i pray this child got out of the custody of this woman um yeah, pray before this could happen, but this was her plan. Her plan was to, to, for this child to get a hold of it. And it's going to look like an accident, but it's not. It was purposely, um, it's premeditated. This is what she's premeditating to do. Someone's going away for premeditated, uh, premeditate, whatever, premeditation and, um, unalivement to, yeah, she is doing this to get some sort of reserva reservations and so do these other people too. But you have some sort of reservations, like maybe even possibly a car that you're about to get because you're over here, you're professional, whatever you're doing for work, you're getting major abundance, okay, because you're a sweetheart. You keep showing up, keep doing whatever you're doing with your gifts, you're extremely gifted, you could be a reader, you could be a psychic medium, whatever you're doing, I feel like you're, you're, um, you're gifted. Whatever it is, you don't even have to have, it doesn't even have to be a spiritual gift, but I feel like it is. But whatever you're doing, keep doing it because it's bringing you major abundance. And I'm strongly getting somebody has a car reserved for them and major abundance, okay? If you've been praying for a car or a home, you're getting it, all right? You're getting a lot of good luck and fortune, all right? Because you're a sweetheart, you deserve it. You've been through so much, you deserve. Um, and you just always stayed in the light, okay? You've been, you deserve everything that you get. And these scumbags deserve everything that they're about to get and everything that they are getting. There could be four um, sacrificial rituals that were done on camera that are caught on camera. There could be four of them. They did this. Look, they did this to, to fucking to gain something. Now, all they did was gain a fucking trap right there. Is it themselves an unalivement. They did this sacrificial ritual to 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 gain something, but it was all a trap. You're getting justice. You're gaining justice, okay? <laughs> While they're getting they're gaining fucking imprisonment and death. All right. And you're getting justice for the stalking. They're cyberbullying you, uh, cyber stalking you. They're also creeping. Some of you, they have cameras in your house. And some of you, they're in your fucking phone. And that's why I tell you this all the time, guys. If you have trouble hearing any of my, any of my readings that are, I mean, the first, my first readings, if you go check out my, my very first couple of readings, my very, um, probably like the first month, I would say, um, I just started this channel December 31st, but I didn't, because I wanted to go into the new year with the channel already started, but I didn't start posting until the end of January, 
all right that's when i first started posting these readings all right but if you like watch like the first like month yeah there was kind of like some of them there was an issue with the hearing but i've been had a um i've been had a microphone ever since i got this microphone there is no issues with the sound okay so if you have trouble listening hearing or if you don't hear anything at all click out of it and go back into it okay and because that's what i had to do a couple of times and I, and also on other on, and it's always just when with tarot readings for some reason i don't have any that issue with anything else it's only tarot readings and it's because if you have issues hearing it hi baby you're gonna have good luck and fortune because here comes clyde um gracing you with his presence hi baby what's my baby doing what are you doing best friend yeah you're gonna go look and fortune okay um love you bubba but um yeah it's because they don't want you to hear what's in that message so if you have if it just the sound is low it's not the reading because i check i double check every reading and i went um before i upload it and after i upload it okay and there is no issues okay if you have um issues hearing it's somebody that's in your device that does not want you to hear that message so pay close attention to the message all right and even if it's on your TV, I'm telling you, especially if you have a smart TV or if you have a flat screen TV, they can get into it. Like, I mean, if you have an old school, like, fucking knob one, I don't think they can get into that. They might be able to. I don't fucking know. But I don't think they can. But I doubt you have one of them old, you know, when we were kids, like, type of TVs. Um, so, yes, they can get in there and they can hack into them, especially if it's a smart TV. Yay. You love yourself way too much. You're very loving. They vow to fucking, yeah, somebody's trying to get, get some sort of self-love or whatever. They know this. They vow to give you some sort of good news, some sort of encouragement, miracles, some sort of surprise because they're getting their merit making, all right? They're trying to stop this for you. Other people are. They're trying to stop your relaxation, but now they need aid, so they want to come give you some sort of blessings to get some sort of calm, um, some inner peace, okay? Because their whole world's being turned upside down. So now they're going to try and gift you something to balance out the scales. Ow. They're, they're trying to they're going to try to gift you something to balance out the scales because like i said they were stealing downloads or stealing something from you um in the past and they have they know they have to make it right they have to gift you like whatever they stole from you or whatever they have to balance out the scales yeah because they're they gave themselves a curse it, it was all a trap and natural disaster it's your dumb ass friends and they're going to someone's going to prison for actually causing you some sort of natural disaster in the past that um it, it could be like a house fire. I'm strongly sure picking up on a house fire because this looks like smoke to me. This tree in the, in the in the back, it looks like smoke. It could have been a house fire, um, or something, or something like that. You could have had a car accident, something like that. It was purposely done. Um, they cursed themselves to this, but also the justice system knows about it. You're going to get some sort of payout from it. Yeah, your family. It could be your family, or it's a family that only want to hesitate because they're they're in danger. They're having some sort of accident. Oh, he's married. Oh, I need to hurry up, guys. Oh, fuck. All right, let me just hurry up. All right. Yeah, they all, they curse themselves into some sort of loneliness, isolation. It's a living their lesson. Confirmation. Now they have some sort of supernatural disturbance. They don't want to coach anybody to do this no more. Um, they're not trying to rob you no more because they're going to fucking prison for this. And there's somebody going to prison for a robbery. It could be a couple. I'm strongly picking up on a couple. It could be your dumbass neighbors. I don't fucking know. Somebody that you consider to be a best friend at one time. It's not. Yeah, there's evidence. Because there's so much evidence of this robbery, of this illness, everything. They, what they did to you. Alright, I'm going to leave it right here, guys. Now they want to compromise. Look, they want to compromise. They promised to whatever. Because they're promised now. They promised to give you, the, to gift you something. Okay, to make the, whatever they stole from you. They're promised to, they, they're, you know, they're promising to, to gift you. To give it back to you. Or to gift you something to, you know what I mean? To balance the scales. Because this ritual, their promise, this ritual is now, you know, they're going to have this, the whole collaboration. Anybody that that collaborate it to do this ritual they're all living a, in a complete nightmare now they they promise to support you okay but i'm gonna leave right here because um, i don't want to lose any of it so you know the other day when it happened to me but until next time remember god loves god loves you, um remember god loves you i love you um angels jesus angels ancestors love them to pass away love you um and we're also very proud of you keep up all the good work you're absolutely amazing okay please do not forget to give god jesus angels ancestors ones passed away the utmost love respect gratitude and appreciation because for all that they do in our lives sorry because they're moving mountains getting ready to rain down miracles on us sorry guys um spread love and i hate always and please if you did not hit that like button yet 
what are you doing, bro? It's been an hour and 26 minutes and 17 seconds right now that I've been sitting down here for. <laughs> then I'm about to go into another reading for you. So hit that fucking like button, please, and thank you. <laughs> all right. But anyway, please hit that like button. Please hit share if you like to share it. And please hit subscribe and turn the notification bell on to all so you can always be updated whenever I put another message out there for you guys. And if you like to donate, you do not have to. It's not a requirement, but it is truly appreciated. The info is in the description box down below. And thank you from the bottom of it with all of my heart. Head time to anybody and everybody who chooses to. And to everybody who has been. Thank you. May God bless beautiful souls. Temple. God bless, guys.